Today I'm going to be demonstrating how the question tool in Google Classroom can be used to create asynchronous online discussions. And this technique is great for any situation where you want to facilitate student-to-student -student interaction and discussion or just extend the discussion beyond the school day. I'm going to go to the Classwork tab where I've already created a new topic called Week 3 Book Club Discussion. To create the discussion, you simply click Create, select Question, and then type your question into the box. You can add instructions, you can add files. Make sure you keep the drop down box over here set to short answer, and that way the students can type in their answers. You can say you want this to be available to all students, or you can just select a certain number of students if you'd rather have a small group discussion. You can assign point values, assign a due date, but be sure you also have students can reply to each other selected to facilitate that back and forth reply ability. For topic, I'm going to select the topic that I created already, week three book club discussion. And you can schedule it for later, or you can go ahead and ask it. And that's what I'm going to do. Clicking ask puts it in the student's Google Classroom feed. And so this is what it, this is where it is. I'm going to show you what one looks like that's already going in my classroom. So I'm going to click view question. And as you can see, the students have, have replies to their questions. You can see how many replies there are and click on them see what they are. So multiple students can reply to students' questions. And students love interacting with others outside the physical classroom. And it also provides a lot of flexibility in terms of continuing discussions beyond the school day that maybe you didn't have enough time for. Also great for introverted students who benefit from this form of discussion because they're sometimes hesitant to speak up in class. 